Welcome Scorpio to your singles love reading. I hope everybody is doing well. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So as usual, I am going to use the AF Tarot deck, the soul cards, and then I am using this new deck. It's called the situations. This gets really in depth into the reading. Okay. Um, I am going to pull the romantic oracles and then at the end of the reading, we'll see what this person has to say to you. I'll use a couple, um, decks for you for that so we have messages of love too okay so let's jump right in and see what is coming in for you guys your cards have already been shuffled and we have the eight of wands so communication coming in progress alignment this is all about fast communication okay guys <laughs> something's coming in fast somebody wants to put in the effort Oh, wow. Positive potentials. Okay. Let's see what else we have. So far, so good for Scorpio. Okay, come on. <laughs> Too many cards. Oh my gosh, the card does not want to come out. I haven't had this issue in a while. Look at that. This does not want to come out. Oh, there we go. We got one. Four of Cups. Oh, okay. I feel there may be a little bit of worrying here about a connection that like starting off really good. Okay. Ooh, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Uh, Seven of Wands. Okay, maybe a, a, a feeling of needing to protect your heart from an energy. Um, hmm. Somebody here could be, uh, okay. I feel like you have been through a lot within the connections, right? That's what I'm getting. And as new connections come in, it could be a feeling of like the same old things and maybe getting a little like tired of it. <laughs> That's for some, um, because there's so many bad situations. I feel a lot of you guys have gone through and it's like getting back out there again, doing it all, having the same old conversations. Okay. Ooh, we have the tower on the bottom of the deck and, uh, you guys could have been through a lot of unexpected things. Shoot. You guys are coming up a bit irritated in a way with the king of cups in reverse yeah because somebody is either something went stagnant here your intuition is nudging you you're feeling something mentally it's hard to move on from a connection though oh, this person's mind it's kind of like making a decision going back and forth so you guys could be feeling as if Okay, take what resonates with this reading, but it does feel like I'm like somebody is feeling like you're you're like a missed opportunity here. They're they're feeling like they're waiting, like not sure if you're into them. Cause the challenge is the King of Cups, but they're coming in as the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like this person's very serious. But then again, we have the the Eight of Cups, emotionally detaching. Hmm. A lot of you guys could be recovering from something else as you're dealing with new um, energies. Okay. And overcoming a tower of somebody who really screwed you over. And now these other energies are like kind of catching you in a state where you're just not really showing that much emotion because you're coming out of this 10 of swords or you've been just feeling betrayed by energies and <laughs> this energy just sorry guys this energy feels like yeah there's communication there's potential but it's boring you know and i feel it's because you're with the justice card, it's like you're doing the, what's best for you, right? Trying to do the right thing for yourself. Or you've been doing the right thing here. And 
uh, this tower is just very unexpected that has happened. Yeah. <laughs> Passionate chemistry type of energy. Making a choice. This is interesting. I don't feel like this person thinks you're into them anymore. They want something long term. I don't feel like you're there right now. And so in the outcome, it's like mentally it's hard to, you know, like this person has you on their mind. But in the end, it's like emotionally detaching due to a tower moment. Something unexpected, a lot of chaos and drama and you know, like the unseen is now being revealed. And then the five of cups in reverse is like feeling disappointed and upset about something, but recovering from a situation. Now seeing the light, end of mental torment. And it's like, you're going back out there, you're meeting somebody and you're just really not, it's just like, you're, you're kind of just being true to yourself here. Someone either feels like you are just not interested in them and then something here is like a big tower moment that happened. Very interesting reading. This is what I'm getting. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Ooh, retaliation, punish, payback, and revenge. Someone is literally, whoever this is, hmm. There's something here that's going in circles with an energy. We have rage ready to explode pressure cooker. What is going on here? Roller coaster up and down with emotions, highest high adrenaline rush, magnetic settlement, compromise, unexplainable pool can't resist, legal court paperwork, drama king, div drama queen, divine feminine. Ooh, denial. Not facing the truth. Someone could be spying. Something to do with the internet. Something is like gripped by this connection. See, you're here having some type of spiritual awakening. I feel like there's like other energies involved. And I'm feeling like, uh, see, there's a need to emotion. There's like a want. I can't really explain this reading. All I know is that there is a very toxic energy that created this tower. Let's go ahead and clarify. Um, let's see. Let's just use this deck to clarify. Ooh, came out in reverse. What is this tower here? Ooh, some type of an apology message. Huh, someone wants to move forward here. Maybe somebody that you're trying to block away. But it's like... Someone's feeling punished. Five of cups. Yeah, closing out a chapter. Oh, it's there. Oh, it hasn't really closed yet, though. All right, Scorpio. Hangman. Things are stagnant here, and it's like... Another energy is coming in, but I feel like there may be a feeling of being focused on something else here for some. I'm still needing to surrender an energy. So this person here, there's like an apology or some type of an emotional offer. And uh, it's hard to close something. The world is here, though, because there's unfinished business with this energy. So you could be feeling that unexplained um, pull. And this is happening with this energy this is a very hard tarot moment this feels like a betrayal and this person i feel could be uh not a very good energy that you dealt with okay and then i feel like you're just not interested in other energies right now maybe again i'm getting that boring bored <laughs> i don't know why i don't know maybe <laughs> i hope somebody's really resonating with this yeah oh okay it's saying, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And then it says, calling in your soulmate, make the effort. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And then great love is worth taking the steps you're uh, guided to take. 
Hmm. So you could be like, I feel a new energy is here. I do. And it's saying make the, I just let go of control issues here. Um, let's get more on this energy tower moment. I was pretending to be something, someone, I was pretending to be someone else. Friends or family disapprove on this connection and you are the person of my dreams. This was just a fling. I'm intimidated by you. And I feel you. I'm afraid of commitment. Oh, okay. I wish I could take it all back. So someone here is feeling super guilty about something. They're like blocking your end. Like you guys are still, yeah, you're having some type of an awakening. Here, there's a lot going on. Some of you, this could be the same energy, but I don't know. I'm feeling like there's a, yeah, strictly sexual release. Um, there's, I feel at one point you felt like you could be very vulnerable with this energy and then they did something very unexpected. There's a, a feeling here, like it says release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. This connection is passionate, but not enduring. Strictly sexual. This was like an emotional roller coaster. what has happened. I feel like you're coming out of it. Yes, a lot of you may have already, but when it comes to newer energies, I don't feel like you're really emotionally investing because there's still healing here happening with this energy. So I feel like there is some type of like still connected, magnetized, and that can... So there's, I mean, give yourself some time too to release this energy. This is, I mean, this is, I just see another one here. Someone who feels like you're really not interested because there's still something connected to you. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm getting. Um, yeah, but you're, you've grown a lot from this situation and it's saying connect. So there's something about connecting with spirituality, connecting with people, um, but on your terms, of course, because whatever you went through, it looks very, very tough and hard and cold and unexpected and just like still recovering from it and like releasing an energy, still cutting off the energy. Okay. Yeah. There could have been uh, something legal, legal um, for some of you guys, but I feel like justice is here to bring karma like there's there's karmic balance karma is at play so i would just be patient with yourself at this time get, get some rest continue to do the inner work with this energy um and don't be so hard on yourself or feel like you have to pressure to release somebody but i just see another energy coming in okay um for a lot of you guys i'm gonna go ahead and leave it here oh wait let me grab the lovers of oracles wait see yeah it's <laughs> exactly just wait um don't rush into it allow nature to take its course yeah that's the energy i'm feeling right now like not forcing anything kind of just doing your thing right now okay um wow the, uh, something really affected uh you here Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it here. Sorry, I don't have anything. Like, I, I feel like this me like this message is something either fresh or still something you're connected to. And there's new energies coming in again. And I feel like there might be a feeling of not moving on at this time. Now, remember to take what resonates with these readings, okay? All right, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I really hope you did. Um, if it did resonate or help in any way, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon. God bless.